to sleep with somebody, and that is love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marshall's a big girl because he believes in true love and just finished reading The Notebook because the secretary's bullied him into joining Oprah's book club. Fine. Oh, hey, what are you doing in New York? Aren't you supposed to be in Chicago? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. What? I'm not moving to Chicago. Why? I met a girl. You son of a bitch. What is the matter with you? How could you put us through that? That goodbye was emotionally devastating. A certain delicate flower cried all night in the shower. And I was pretty bummed too. Brad, do you like brunch? You invited him to brunch? Yeah, I invited him to brunch. Why, is that weird? Yes, that's why it was all. You invited him to brunch? <laughs> why can't two guys who are friends go to brunch? Because brunch is kind of... Girly. Girly? Breakfast isn't girly, lunch isn't girly. What makes brunch girly? You know what? Excuse me if I don't want to get married barefoot in the woods next to Lake. No one's going to drive that far. Yes, I want a ballroom, and I want a band, and I want shoes. I've been dreaming about this day since I was, like... A little girl? <laughs> what up? OK, I'm just... Even if you don't believe it, tell me he looks fat. Totally looks fat. Hey, Lil. Hey. Hey? <laughs> That's it? What are you talking about? Well, you guys have been spending the last few nights apart. I figured there'd be a lot of giggling, crying, jumping up and down, and then whatever Lily would do. <laughs> what? Then why wouldn't she just come right out and say what she wants? Man, it's like if there weren't pickle jars to open and spiders to kill and computers to back up, what would be their point? Mm -hmm. And if this is a place where we can share our dreams, I like to think that it is. I hope someday to earn a testify. Trying to tell me something. That's your inner goddess. Listen to her, channel her. Victoria, quenches your thirst like a tall glass of sweet tea on a hot July day. Marshall, why is she southern? Don't let him break the connection. Well, you gotta make an honest woman out of her. I can't believe it. If not, well then, sugar, you gotta let that nightingale spread her wings and soar to her own beautiful tomorrow. Testify. Look, if you really want to have a baby, just stop taking the pill. You guys slept together at spring break three years ago. That means something. Love show tunes. Total shopaholic. Not always pestering you for sex. Um, Clifford sounds like a keeper. Quien sabe que somos los dos. Yo. Feel the emotions release. I think I just got over being chunky in the ninth grade. You're beautiful. I am beautiful. <laughs> Try the mango. <laughs> Last night in bed, I'll admit it, she popped into my head a couple of times. Whoa, whoa, whoa what are you trying? Think, think she's hotter than me? You never said that? Oh my god, you do. It's apples and oranges. She's younger than you. Well, I'm just saying, like, me in my prime versus her in her prime. What will I have to drink, you ask? Hmm. Minnesota Tidal Wave, what's that, you ask? <laughs> Only the best cocktail ever. Who invented it, you ask? Me. And it's not a girly drink. <laughs> Lily, why would you even say that? <laughs> girly drink. Hey, I am the least girly girl on Earth, and I want the Minnesota Tidal Wave. Thank you. I can't drink this. That's better. I'm still seething, but that's better. Oh, poor me. I'm a pretty girl, and everybody everywhere wants to buy me drinks and have sex with me. Wow. Oh, poor me. I get to order yummy pink drinks with chunks of real fruit that guys secretly like but can't order because they'll be made fun of. Dude. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, sweetie, did you make that for me? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Freedom has never tasted so delicious. Hey, you work out? I do. And thank you for noticing. This is actually my fiance. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I saw you drink, and I thought... No, 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 this isn't my drink. This is hers. <laughs> no, it isn't. You see that? Being hit on doesn't have to be terrible. I feel flattered, and everyone left with their dignity. <laughs> but when are you coming back? Because I miss you, silly. Wait, who's he talking to? Shh, I'll be back soon. Hey, you want me to bring your pretzel? That loves me, and so you and bread, and light, and shadow are. That's Pablo Neruda. I don't know uh, what bread was doing in there, but that touched me here and here. It's good nothing, huh?
Maybe he's not in love with us. How can he not be in love with us? We're everything he's looking for. I don't get men. As old as the city itself. The walk of shame. A long journey home after doing something you regret the night before. I'll take the job. What? That's awesome! Yeah! Great time last night. I'll call you later. He's not gonna call you. Here. Chair? Right here, babe. <laughs> I just met Bray in the village. There are like a zillion gay pirates this year. Seriously, does my eyeliner look okay? Yes. For us. Okay, you know how you've dreamt about your perfect wedding day ever since you were a little girl? Yeah. Totally. My sister. Lily, how you thrill me, but it may just even kill me if you do not say I will lead to this question. Will you go out with me? I dance more than you know. What? I dance more than you know. Thanks, Herm. Hey, Marsh, I got you a light beer. I know how you dancers are always counting calories. It's not funny, all right? The doctor says if it gets any worse, I might need surgery. Vaginal rejuvenation surgery? You know, Marshall's wearing a nightgown. Marshall's wearing a nightgown. Hey, guys, you know how in the future we're always saying, remember when Marshall wore a nightgown? This is that time! It's a nightshirt. You can call it a ninja star danger jock if you want. Doesn't make you any less of a crossdresser. Whatever, dude. It's comfy. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So flying to Neverland with Peter and Tink. Was that amazing? Ooh, let me go next. Was it nice to finally get out of that crowded bed and take Charlie to the chocolate factory? Ooh, me, 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 me. Something about Scrooge! You put the earring in my bed so that Karen would find it. No, Ted, no, I would never admit it! There's nothing to admit. Then why Ted? was Robin's earring on your dresser? He was accessorizing. Marshall. Ewing. Marshall, did you sell us out? I was vulnerable, okay? I said goodbye to a very dear friend today. Dude, it's a barrel. Aw, you're giving Mabel away? Yeah, I have... Would you guys be my bridesmaids? Yes. I'd be honored. Of course. Not you, Marshall, but... Yay, thank you. Whoa. Great. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So... Hey, man, shh. Sorry about what I said before. You want to go to the store and get some beer? Lily is asleep. I suppose I could reschedule my pedicure. Hey, guys. Hey, how'd the date with Royce go? It was interesting. Uh, we went to see that new movie, The Wedding Bride. Oh, how was it? Not that I care. I mean, that's a chick flick. This one will probably drag me to it, like the 710 show tomorrow night, or 940, because I have that meeting, but I could probably get out of it, so let's try for the 710. What's Jed Mosley, to be your lawfully wedded husband. I... Whoa, 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 spoilers! <laughs> is, what I, is what I would say if I ever planned on seeing such an awful film. Continue. We gotta get back upstairs and finish packing. But you guys still aren't finished packing? How is this taking so long? Hey, all the great memories of our 20s took place in that apartment. It's not like throwing stuff in a box. You start to reminisce. Not me. The key? Throw stuff out, never look back. I'm moving to Japan. It took me a half hour to pack. Half hour? Well, it would have taken me 20 minutes, but a friend called me in tears. Moving is really emotional, okay? A teacup pig. <laughs> a teacup pig? Who's that working on? Can we see the teacup pig? Oops. No, Ted, I, I, you know, I promise Lily. Shh, 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 shh. Just let it happen. Pretending you're married? That's going a little far to prove your point, isn't it? Excuse me, but I think it's offensive to suggest the only reason gay people get married is to prove a point. Thank you, sister. Somebody needs to get this lady's mind a rearview mirror because she is thinking in reverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs>